So now we have to, we have to how do I act in that role of a servant of Krishna so that I can stay free from the demands of this other false sense of self, we call false ego. So this is what Krishna consciousness is all about. And in the purport, Prabhupada talks about how we, we, we call out to Krishna. He identifies this verse with the mood in which we're meant to chant Hare Krishna. And famously, he says, uh, like a child calling for his mother. Right? So what is, the, what is the nature of that? The child is helpless. Right? He regards the mother as the sole source of safety and happiness. Right? They're calling out. So when we chant Hare Krishna, we should be in the mood of this verse. That, oh, for how long have, have, have we suffered an illusion trying to, to uh, meet the demands of these unwanted desires? Now we understand that we, should do, we shouldn't do that. We shouldn't serve those desires. We should rather serve Krishna. But our, you know, our conditioning is such that it's pulling us this way and that. So we have to call out, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Oh Lord, please uh, lift me up, save me. You know, there's another verse in the same mood. Uh, the Rupa Goswami writes, our great Acharya. You know, he wrote so many verses, so many books. The Bhakti Rasamana Sindhu is most famous. He also wrote the Stavamala. Stavamala is an anthology of different poems. And in that Stavamala, he has this one prayer. It says, Manasinta Pani Drishti, Labda Patosli Drishti, Timurda Gahana Rupe, Handa Samsara Kupe, Ajita Nikola Raksha, Hetu Uddara Raksham, Upanaya Mahasti, Bhakti Raju Namaste. Now, some of you may know the Sanskrit, Bhakti Raju means the rope of Bhakti. So he said, I put it into a little poem. He says, Fallen in this deep and dark and dirty well of Maya, threatened by the snake of lust, whose venom burns like fire. Helplessly I plead, O Lord, whose strength is ne'er in doubt, place the rope of bhakti in my hand and pull me out. That's a very nice prayer. <laughs> so this is a, this is a real nice prayer. He's recognizing that we're, we're in this well. You know, if you fall into a blind well, the only way you can be helped out is if someone notices you or hears your calls, because you can't get out on your own. So this whole material world is like a blind well. We don't, and the real scary thing is we don't even know we're in the well. We think that this is all there is. But this is not all there is. In so many places in Krishna, Krishna speaks in Bhagavad Gita. He describes in the 15th chapter, there is another world, Maya Bodh, where you don't need these electric lights. There's no sun, need for sun or moon. It's self illuminated. Every living entity described in Brahma Samhita is effulgent with bliss. We don't see that here. Right? I don't see anyone shining here. I'm not my Not yet. But, <laughs> but the point is, you know, this is a world of darkness. We need the sun and you know, electric lights. You know. So this, so Tamasima Jyotikam. Isn't that a junction? You learned it when as a child, right? Tamasima Jyotikam. So we're meant to come out of this and, and go to the world of light. But how do we do it? Where do we go? We're blind by ignorance. It was calamity for people to forget the holy name of Shiri. Although the name's a priceless gem, mere broken glass they see. The holy name of Shiri is surely all that be. Just fill your ears, just fill them with the name of Shiri. Just chant the name, just chant the name with all sincerity. Just sing the name. To sing the holy name eternally, the holy name of Shri Hari Shri It makes this world appear like bits of straw on the ground. Resplendently it reigns supreme, divinity and sound. It's filled with transcendental bliss and pureness, purity. The holy name of Shri Hari is surely all that be. Inspired to glorify the holy name of Shri Hari, a certain sage composed this hymn in Sanskrit poetry. I pray that those who hear this lowly version made by me will chant the holy name of Shri Hari in ecstasy. Go, Premanandini. Hari Hari.